Okay, the next tool we're going to talk about is the freeze tool and it is under the construct tab and it is under convert. Okay, so we are going to go to box. Okay, let's uh, get rid of this. Okay, so we've just made ourselves a nice little box. Okay, and let's click tab for sub D. And let's click on detail. Sorry, construct. Click on freeze. Okay. So basically, what it did was it converted uh, the sub patch model into a, um, a polygonal model. Um, based on the, uh, how should I say, the, the spline shape of that subpatch model. Okay, so you see how it's all rounded off? Okay, if you take it out of, uh, um, how should I say, you put it in polygonal mode, notice that freeze is no longer available. Okay, if you click on it, active layers contain no data for operation. Um, we need uh, some sort of spline-based uh, object in here, um, like a subpatch model. So click on tab, um, automatically the uh, freeze, um, freeze button is activated, and boom. Okay. And there you go. Okay. And let's see if we go to tab again. What happens if we click freeze? See how it subdivides it even more? Okay, so that's if you wanted to make this uh, really rounded, but you want to have a polygonal object. Uh, if you can't, for some reason, whatever you're doing requires um, polygonal, uh, doesn't you can't use uh, sub D objects. You, your whatever application you're using uh, is only using, uh, sorry, polygonal objects, and you need it to look uh, rounded. Um, let me get the surface setter. Here we go. And we click on, oops, we click on smoothing. And there you go. So it's nice and smooth and rounded, even though it's a polygonal object. Okay. So, um, so that's just sort of the general idea. Now, say I wanted to, let's, sorry, let's go back to here. Say I wanted to create something uh, that looked more like, say, like the cushion on a couch or a chair or something like that. Um, what I can do is I can add some, uh, I can add some more splits in here. Let's use the knife tool. Uh, let's make some cuts. And I'm going to bring these cuts fairly close to the edges. So what I want to do is I want to create um, a fairly sharp looking uh, cushion, but I still want it to be rounded. I don't want these big giant rounding areas. I just want them rounded on the corners and the edges of the object. Okay, let's, uh, let's make another split. Oops, let's make one right about there. Good enough. Okay, and let's round that off. Actually, let's go undo. Let's stretch this. Make this closer. Okay. Sort of looks like a pizza box right now. Um, let's go Shift K and Shift. Okay, so let's hit the tab key. Okay, see how it's nice and sort of rounded at the edges now. Maybe easier to see up here. See how it rounds it off because I added those, uh, those nice cuts on the side here. Okay, now... Let me 
me see here. Okay, let's uh, grab these guys here. And let's go H. Stretch them out just a little bit. Okay, and okay, so we're getting that rounded look we want, but um, we want this to be um, a polygonal object. So let's go over to freeze because right now this is what this looks like. It's kind of boxy. Okay, so you want it to be rounded in polygonal mode. So we go tab and then we go freeze. And there you go. Now it's a polygonal object and it's nice and rounded like a, um, a sub D object. Okay, and the way to check to see if you're whether you're in polygonal mode or sub D mode. If you're in polygonal mode, you'll notice it says 486, which means the polygons. Faces means your uh, the object is a is a polygonal object. Uh, notice that there's nothing selected for sub patches. There's it says zero, so this means this isn't a sub patch object. Okay. So that is um, the freeze tool. Very uh, very useful for converting sub D objects, um, converting a sub D's uh, rounded edges and the type of organic shapes that you can make with sub D's into a, a polygonal mesh. Okay, so we're moving on.